All right, so everyone keeps posting price checks for arrows and bolts, and the trade site is just full of people over asking for crazy things on these. Um, so let's go over kind of what people need when you're playing an Amazon class. First off, getting rich off arrows and bolts is not going to happen. It just isn't. Because first of all, you use these to round out your build. It is not something you build around. So when you talk about this, like this is a perfect set of bolts for um, a summons on running my demon machine, you know, style. Awesome. Cool. You got to find the exact right person who needs these and is also missing life leech because that's what's rolled on here on their build, which is why I'm not using them because I have life leech on my build. I'm using these because I'm missing mana leech from my build. So I need to use these bolts. So that's kind of how these things work. So first off, everything I just talked about, um, your secondary modifiers, crush and blow, deadly strike, open wounds, always good to have on there. All res is good to have on there. Leech is good to have on there. Beyond that, if you are a freezing or fire arrow um, Amazon, you need to get bow skills. And you really, if you want to get some real value out of them, more than like an um or a mal, um, you really have to roll the negative fire or negative cold res. And even then, just, just for record, I would never spend anything more than a gull on arrows or bolts. I just wouldn't because they're things to round out my build. Um, for... Passive magic zons, decoy zons, whatever, summon zons, whatever you want to call them, you need to have the plus two skills and any sort of, like I said, those extra modifiers are great. But it's got to be leech. It's got to be one of those secondary crushing blow, deadly strike things. It's got to be damaged undead or magic find. You really have to roll everything kind of good on them to get any value out of them. The weird one is multi-shot zons because they, while they can get IAS in like their helms and fill it full of 4015s and just go from there and skip over IAS, getting IAS on their arrows allows them to kind of replace things maybe like their gloves or an area where they might have to be forced to use drakes to hit their break point, but now they can switch to soul drainers or whatever they want. So getting IAS on those is great, but if you roll skills, well, it's not that useful anymore. Really, you're just looking for raw damage IAS, and then again, those modifiers. So if you're posting a price check, if your bolts don't look something like this, they're not worth anything. They just aren't. And really, I think maximum you're getting is a gold. Maybe this early season, people are spending like crazy. You could get a Vex. But it, unless someone's just blowing money to blow money, I just don't think these are worth what you think they are. Because you find them everywhere. And honestly, if you have a group, like I have four people looking for me, there's a perfect set of bolts up for a gull. I have a gull. I'm not buying them because someone's going to find me bolts eventually. I got four people looking for me and I'm looking for stuff for them. So why would I bother? So that's kind of a rundown of what you need. Remember, you need the skills for the elemental arrows. You've got to roll with a corruption, those negative fire or cold reses. you got to have the plus two skills and a bunch of good extra modifiers for summon zons. And multi-shots, you need, well, the right buyer because they might not need IAS on their build. They might just need pure damage. And it, it's really rough finding buyers. That That's the end result of this. So um, I know this is a video about error pricing. But I just wanted to remind people, if you are running summons on, um, I'm, I'm going to go test this out again, just because I forgot how good it is. I was going a little slow and sluggish with some self-found gear. I haven't had a whole lot of time to play. It's a lot of rares and stuff. I forgot this set existed. I did this last season. Um, if you're struggling with summons on again, um, I bought all these for one world stone shard piece. <laughs> bought that for a lem. Like, yeah, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's a really nice set. Undead and damaged, uh, d damage to demons, like what, 350, 400% damage to them. Skills, I'm maxed out on reses in hell, and with a full, well, almost full set of skillers. I actually take that off now. Um, you know, you're a decent number of decoys here. I'm gonna go into Ubers and um, run this. So uh, don't forget about those things. Arrows, like here's, here's the set of arrows I found. This is a good set of arrows for someone, again, I'm missing skills on this. This is not great for my build, but it's my only source of mana leech. It has the crushing blow. I'm a sucker for crushing blow on Amazon's damage, all res, life. It's got to have one, two, three, four, five good rolls on it, or it's just not there. Um, so good luck with your arrow searching, guys. See you later.